What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Woo! Another little public duck hunt today. We're going, uh, we're going back to the little secret spot. Uh, y'all have been there once with me so far. I'm taking Preston. This is Tristan's little spot that he showed me. I called him yesterday. I'm like, dude, I want to go make a 20 gauge video tomorrow. Are you in? And he's like, buddy, I got to work, but you go right on ahead. I'm like, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, so today we got Fred again. He's been such a good boy on the last few hunts. Believe me, the diff if you haven't already seen, the difference uh, with Fred working by himself without another dog on the hunt, two different stories. I'm telling you what, he does amazing by himself. He's not uh, interrupted, he's not distracted by another dog breaking or something, no breaking, and he is listening like crazy. But Preston and I today, a little two-man 20 gauge action oh yes public land like i said but real quick the thermal hoodies they're all in stock and if you use code bob at checkout it'll save you some money you need to pick up one of these bad boys they're nice yep we're in the lodge we're starting the video in the lodge which has always been my dream right but i can't show you guys i know i already showed you but some big things are happening i'm gonna make another it, the next lodge video the lodge will actually be completely finished. I mean like everything, every nook, every cranny. So that'll probably be Friday. Be expecting that video. But dude, it's time to get up. Let's go. Come on. Are you are, are you tired or what's going on, buddy? Huh? Ooh, but before we go, oh, I have to take one for the road. No, not a Brutus. One of these bad boys. I am addicted to these diet green tea mixed berries. Oh, they're so good. What do you think, Freddy? Huh? <laughs> Look at his ears, he's perked up. He's ready to go. Aren't you, bud? Yeah, you love her. He's just a love bug. Ooh, look at the unit. Did you, uh, the unit. <laughs> did you bring a bucket and a mop? <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that one. Why? We've got to clean up this mess we're about to make. Oh, well, oh that's <laughs> where you're going with that. Well, we're out here. We get out. We let, 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 let me find my words. We got out here a little too early. Today is a, is this Wednesday? Yeah. Wednesday. God, I'm losing track of days here. Uh, Wednesday morning, I seen one truck on the road. And they're over on the big water. Um, this is a little hole. And... Um, only seeing one truck there's a couple things i don't mind there being like four or five trucks out here because you know that there's enough groups you're going to bump around some birds only one over there it could get stale for a little while just because the birds aren't moving around so wish us luck cross your fingers uh we're gonna wait for the sun to come up uh we got here at six o'clock i mean late nobody here no problem still an hour till shooting light well, before we get started, I figured we'd go over the gun situation. What are you rocking, son? 20 gauge Montefeltro. Ooh, a tw is it brand new? No, I got it when I was younger. It's my quail gun. Oh, dude, I want my upland gun. I want a semi-auto 20 so bad. It's awesome. You need to get the A28U. A28U. I'm sure. U? I think that might be the over/under, but they have a super light, like carbon fiber rib, Ooh. dude. It's a pretty. It's like this, but like super sleek and futuristic kind of <laughs> it's cool i do i really want a uh, a semi-auto 20 this is what i'm rocking today oh hold on hold on what ammo are you running today i'm running federal what you got? no i'm running oh shit <laughs> <laughs> never mind this is my old girl today y'all have seen her before the old mossberg 500 pump I hope I remember to pump it. <laughs> it sounds goofy, but when you don't use a pump for years and years and you just pick it up here and there, I should be all right, I hope, but the first couple shots, you might see me goof. Oh, but this is what I'm running, the Black Cloud TSS 20 gauge loads. These are three inch, 1350 FPS, one ounce, three and nine shot. So a three inch, threes and number nines oh yeah oh uh, what time is it 729 733 okay so we're like what 13 so 17 minutes 15 17 minutes past past shooting light we've heard three shots um this is how it was the last time it um 
It actually is nice because it gets a little light out so you can see what the heck you're doing. Ooh. Don't move, Frederick. We got ducks. Oh, they're loving it, dude. Don't move. Where'd they go? They went back that way. Oh, they're right there still. Oh, they're doing it. Maybe. Finally, dude, we see some ducks. <laughs> Hopefully they do it. They're working hard. Don't move, Frederick. They are working really hard. I wish I had that on a remote now because I'd probably kill that mojo right about now with them working so hard. Oh, here they go. Oh, here we go. They'll get down there. Ready? Oh. Oh, oh. They'll yeah, they'll come back. Let's let them work. Those are widgeon, weren't they? What? Are they widgeon or gaddies? Widgeon, I think. They're coming back. He's four. Oh, come on. Give it up. We should have shot. <laughs> Where'd they go? Oh, they're, okay. Here they come again. <laughs> There we go. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh. Fred, you got your bird. Good shot. I don't know why I missed so much. I guess we'll see on the shot cam. Load up. He might come back. Boy, howdy. I was having trouble. Pumping, nice shot though. Here, Fred, here. Good, here. Boy, we worked them forever, know, dude. That was, cool. that was good. That was textbook. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was, dude. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Yeah, it is. That's a good looking bird. That's a pretty gadwall, isn't it? Uh, 841. First bird down. Tell me that ain't gnarly. Here, buddy. Here. That's a stud muffin. Dude, you got to bring it to me. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Woo, that's a pretty guy. You better be easy wringing his neck. That is a stud muffin, dude. Look at that bird. Wow. What a gorgeous guy. Good shot. Thank you. God, I was whiffing city, dude. Place, good boy, place. I hit. I, I think I hit this one first shot and I, I waited because I like for you to oh. you pump before I shot it that way. Oh, one. it was hard, dude. I was struggling. I don't understand what the issue was there. Boy. Place. Come on, place, place. Boy, that was, that was a struggle bus on the shooting. My goodness. We should have shot the four that came in first, but I, we got picky. We got picky. They liked it, man. It is, it's getting chilly. Ay ay ay. It's uh wind's picked up, starting to spit on us pretty good. On and off. Uh but we're gonna wait it out. Being those the first birds of the day, man. 841. It's late. It's real late. That's how it was last time. Uh we had a lot of till early morning. And then uh later in the day, later in the morning I should say, the big ducks started coming. And let me tell you what, these dive bomb floaters 
All we got out is a dozen. That's all I brought. One mojo. But they're looking juicy. I'm telling you. Get out here, stir up some water. Hope that I see a duck and have to run back. <laughs> One thing I wish I would have brought today is a jerk rig. A jerk rig this morning before the wind picked up, it would have been really nice. I'm gonna have to start packing in a small jerk rig wherever I go on these public hunts from here on out because probably wouldn't have mattered. We didn't see any ducks anyways. What, early on? We yeah. saw a couple, but they were out there. I think some motion would have definitely helped. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Fred. You ready, buddy? Let's get out of here. I'm going to have to let the old 20 gauge dry out. I know. I got to put put some oil on it. Yeah. Make sure she's unloaded. Guys, I uh, always tell you, check your gun. Double check it before you go and put her in the satchel. Give her a look over just to make sure. All righty. Let's get out of here. Till next time, man, at least we uh, didn't get skunked today. Got down a beauty gadwall, old sharpshooter over there. I don't know how in the world I missed my duck. No idea. But sure was pretty working them ducks. The first pass probably should have took a shot. Uh, we had a lot more down on the decoys in, uh, in that first pass, but it was all right. Oh. Well, 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 yeah, um, so it's the, what, two days later, um, we actually went back to the same, not the same exact hole today, um, mind you, it's, uh, what, 6.30 in the morning and I'm back home, uh, so we got up this morning and, uh, tried to go back to the same public area, but a different hole, I had scouted this, this little hole yesterday and I seen some big ducks going in it, it looked like some gadwall. What, dude? I'm sorry. We didn't get to hunt, man. I'm sorry. He's pretty upset with me. We had to, uh, we got to the hole and it was a hike. Uh, it was probably going to be right at a half mile in. Not too bad. I mean, honestly. Got there, got all strapped up, waders, started walking. Luckily, only got about 100 yards in, looked up, and could barely see lights out there. And so I was like, yep, oh, hold on, guys. And we just waited and sure enough they shine their lights at us so uh we turned around and walked back out now the the place that we were at there were other holes to hunt um but that's the only place i've seen ducks and it's a thursday a thursday and there were people galore and which is good i'm not going to complain about it because i love seeing people get out there that's what's most important so we got beat to the spot today didn't we buddy uh-huh i know it happens right but i've been trying uh, i've been trying for you guys i've been trying for myself public has been my only option we got a couple good announcements here it's looking up though first of all my zone opens in about a week first of all second of all a huge cold front's coming and i mean a massive cold front starting what friday i believe friday saturday and third thing is, come this next week, me and the wife, we're headed to South Dakota to Flatland Flyways with Federal. Yes, Federal Ammo is flying us out there. I'm taking my Benelli, and we're going to get down. My wife, she's taking her camera, and she's going to help me film. So I got her completely outfitted in just any warm clothes that I could find her. So that trip is going to be amazing. Do not miss that. Uh, those videos should fire up next week, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, I would I would assume. Freddy, he can't go on this one. I wish he could, but we're going to Flatland Flyways. Uh, it's a huge outfitter, massive, massive lodge. You guys will see the entire place. I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. And they got their own dogs. They all got their own dogs, so I don't want to impede, but I don't even want to ask, you know. It's just one of them things. You respect the guide service and... You leave your dog at home so but we're we're extremely excited Beth's first trip she's never done a hunting trip like this it'll be a lot of fun do not miss the south dakota vids with the wife uh it's gonna be 
in the single digits for the lows on like two or three of the days. It's gonna be crazy cold. I don't know if I'm ready for it. But thank you all for being here. If you wanna help support the channel and help me bring you guys more of these videos, you know the deal. Go down in the description, pick up you a duck's hat, a duck's hoodie, something. You'll love it. There's something there for everybody, I'm telling you. And by the way, if you go use code BOB, it'll save you some jack at checkout. That means some of that cheddar. But hit the notification bell down there. Um, I, I just looked and there's like 37, 43, right at 40% of y'all, I believe. I haven't checked in a couple days that have not subscribed yet. Subscribe, hunting videos, especially waterfowl, all season long. And the client hunts start, uh, what, the second part of November? Second week of November, sorry. But until next time. Peace. Shoot him. Shoot him.